the 2000 playoff game between Titans and the Ravens when you ripped that ball from Eddie George's hands. What do you recall from that? In Tennessee Stadium, you can hear a rat piss on cotton. <laughs> it was just so quiet. You know how you're, you're in this greatest battle ever. And you know you got two gladiators going at it in this one play. And you hear how loud the crowd is. And as soon as that ball hit my hands, I promise you, it's like I was running down the field with complete silence in a stadium filled with thousands of people. Tell me about that moment uh, after winning the Super Bowl, holding the number one up with the newspaper in the other hand, Baltimore Ravens, Super Bowl champions. I wish I was telling you somebody else's story. Maybe I can make some of it up if I was. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. To try to recreate that feeling would be almost impossible. To ever be accused of something from one January and the next January, your whole life, everything you always worked for came true. 20 minutes from your hometown, when the greatest worldly persecution you've ever been through in your life as a man, all of the judgments that people don't have a clue who you are, don't know what happened in the case, all of these things are being spoke about you. And then you get all of these men to buy into you. All of these men to accept you back in when you walk into the Ravens facility. Looking back, at that 2000 team, in particular the defense, mm -hmm. what most impresses you about it? <laughs> the unselfishness of every man. It's the, it's just the greatest formula to a, to a championship, is chemistry. Like what we felt back then, like we, we still feel now. And just that alone, just that alone, you know, those relationships and those bonds, wow, it's special.